You might think low blood pressure is a good thing, but that's not necessarily true. When it becomes too low, it can lead to health problems. Hi viewers and welcome back to another Bestie video. Low blood pressure or hypotension is most regularly defined as any reading lower than 90 and over 60 millimeters of mercury. It's not a concern if there's no symptoms present. However, when low blood pressure causes problems, it can be a sign that there's not enough blood getting to the organs. If this happens for too long, it can have serious consequences like shock, stroke, heart attack, or kidney failure. Most people with this problem don't need medications as there are plenty of natural ways that work like a charm. In today's video, we'll tell you what they are. From snacking on almonds and raisins, upping your salt intake, reducing meal sizes, drinking carrot juice to avoiding stressful situations and more. Watch until the end to learn about all of them. Number 1. Enjoy a cup of licorice tea. This is an instant home remedy for low blood pressure. It can help normalize blood pressure resulting from low cortisol levels. Licorice helps break down the enzyme that disintegrates cortisol and helps in the healthy functioning of adrenaline. It can also fix symptoms of chronic fatigue. Drinking licorice tea daily for a few weeks can give you good results. You can also choose to take licorice capsules. What's your favorite type of tea? Is it green, black, or anything else? We would love to know down in the comment section. Number 2. Snack on almonds and raisins The easiest way to treat low blood pressure at home is to eat almonds and raisins. Raisins are an ideal remedy to help cure hypotension naturally. You can soak a few of them in water overnight and eat them in the morning on an empty stomach. You can also drink the water in which they're soaked in. Do this for a few weeks and you'll definitely notice a difference in your blood pressure levels. Almonds are another alternative home remedy for low blood pressure. You can follow the same procedure, soaking them in water overnight like raisins. Number 3. Pay attention to your body positions. Gently move from squatting to standing position. Don't sit with your legs crossed. Crossing your legs while sitting has been shown to increase blood pressure. For people with high blood pressure, this can be a problem. If you begin to get symptoms while standing, cross your thighs in a scissor fashion and squeeze. Or put one foot on a ledge or chair and lean as far forward as possible. These moves encourage blood flow from your legs to your heart. Number 4. Eat small, low-carb meals To help prevent the blood pressure from dropping sharply after meals, eat small portions several times a day. Limit high-carbohydrate foods such as potatoes, rice, pasta, and bread. Eating smaller, more frequent meals throughout the day can help with low blood pressure. You should also try to drink one or two strong cups of caffeinated coffee or tea with breakfast. Don't drink caffeine throughout the day because you'll become less sensitive to it and it can cause dehydration. Number 5. Eat adequate salt Excess salt is bad, but on the other hand, it is required for your body in moderate quantities. Your daily diet must contain at least one teaspoon of added salt besides what you derive naturally from fruits and vegetables. Foods with high salt content can elevate your blood pressure. Good sources of it include olives, cottage cheese, and canned super tuna. You can also add table salt or sea salt to your meals depending on your preference. In summer or if you exercise daily, keep some lime water with a pinch of salt handy. Salt works like an instant pick-me-up. Make sure you don't have too much of it as it may lead to problems like water retention along with high blood pressure. Number 6. Drink more fluids. Drink at least 2 to 3 liters of water every day. Besides this, include naturally healthy drinks like coconut water in your low blood pressure diet. This will give you the necessary electrolytes required to maintain the fluids in your body. Dehydration is a common cause of low blood pressure. Pomegranate juice is rich in antioxidants called polyphenols and may help you balance your blood pressure. One of the ways to fight dehydration is water, so don't forget to load up on enough water for the day. Number 7. Wear compression stockings. Elastic stockings or socks can help prevent blood from pooling in your legs. This helps to relieve orthostatic or postural hypotension, which is low blood pressure due to standing, laying down, or sitting too much. People who are on bed rest may need compression braces to help blood pump from their legs. Orthostatic hypotension is more common in older adults. It happens in up to 11% of middle-aged people and 30% of older adults. Number 8. Holy Basil Leaves this one is a home remedy for our granny's treasure trove. Chew five to six holy basil leaves every morning. They have high levels of potassium, magnesium, and vitamin C, which can help in regulating your blood pressure. They're also loaded with an antioxidant called eugenol, which keeps the blood pressure under control and lowers cholesterol levels. Number 9. 
Boost your vitamin B12 intake. Vitamin B12 performs a critical role in helping the body produce healthy red blood cells. Lack of this important vitamin can result in anemia, which lowers blood pressure. This can result in excessive bleeding as well as organ and nerve damage. Foods that are rich in this vitamin include eggs, chicken, fish like salmon and tuna, and low-fat dairy products. Number 10. Fill up on folate. Folate, also known as vitamin B9, is another essential vitamin for low blood pressure. It's found in foods such as asparagus, broccoli, liver, and legumes such as lentils and chickpeas. A folate deficiency can have many of the same symptoms as vitamin B12 deficiency, causing anemia, which can lead to lowered blood pressure. Number 11. Try almond milk. Enriched with omega-3 fatty acids, almond milk is extremely beneficial in treating hypotension. The absence of saturated fats and cholesterols make it a good addition to hypotension diets. Soak a few almonds overnight, peel and make it into a paste. You can mix the paste with warm water or milk and drink it on a regular basis to keep your blood pressure levels under control. Number 12. Reduce meal size. When you eat a large meal, it takes your body a lot more energy to digest it. This can send your blood pressure plunging. This is a particular problem for breakfast skippers and intermittent fasters. Skipping meals frequently can lead to overeating later to compensate. Even if you're not reducing the overall amount you're eating, having smaller meals throughout the day is healthier for both your digestion and your blood flow. Number 13. Get your thyroid checked. Thyroid conditions are very common. Hypothyroidism occurs when you don't produce enough thyroid hormones. This can lead to low blood pressure. A simple blood test can tell your doctor if you have this condition. You may need medication and dietary changes to help boost your thyroid function. If you've been facing thyroid problems apart from medications, eating the right foods can also bring it under control. To know what these foods are, watch this video titled 13 Foods That Can Help You Heal Your Thyroid. Now back to natural remedies to raise low blood pressure. Number 14. Go slow. Be careful not to stand up from either a sitting or lying down position too rapidly. This can cause a feeling of lightheadedness, dizziness, or potential fainting in people with hypotension. The reason why this happens is because the heart has not pumped enough blood through the body quickly enough to account for the sudden change in position or elevation. If you've experienced this type of dizziness before, try to make your movements more gradual when transitioning to standing positions. If you're lying down, first sit up for a few seconds and then slowly stand. Number 15. Review your medications with your doctor. Certain medications can cause a drop in blood pressure, so you could be taking prescription medications that lower your blood pressure and not even know it. Medications to treat depression and anxiety or painkillers can have this effect. Always read about the potential side effects of any medication. Be sure to ask your doctor for advice before discontinuing use. Number 16. Avoid stressful situations. Did you know scary, upsetting, or unpleasant situations can also cause a temporary drop in blood pressure? This is called neurally mediated hypotension. Research suggests that removing yourself from the situation or implementing lifestyle changes can help bring back blood pressure levels to normal. Number 17. Drink carrot juice. Carrot juice improves blood circulation and regulates blood pressure levels. Start your day with fresh carrot juice. Mix a little honey with it. This acts as a natural remedy for hypotension. Drink it twice daily on an empty stomach for best results. Number 18. Rosemary oil. This oil is known for its anti-hypotensive nature, and it's been used to treat low blood pressure in natural medicines. It contains camphor, which is a stimulant for both respiratory and circulatory systems. It's very easy to use. Mix five to six drops of rosemary oil with a carrier oil such as coconut or olive thoroughly. Apply it over the whole body and massage lightly. You can also add rosemary oil to bath water and soak in it. This can be done once a day to treat the problem of low blood pressure. What's worse than low blood pressure? You guessed it, high blood pressure. So it's imperative to recognize the signs and take steps to control it. Get to know more of what we're talking about by learning the signs of high blood pressure or finding out which beverages will reduce blood pressure immediately. These two videos will definitely help you get your blood pressure levels under control so that you can lead a healthier life. Do you have blood pressure problems? What do you do to control it? Let us know in the comment section below.